Donovan Sharp is quitting YouTube, which is a great victory. Red flag number three. She had a six-year-old. She was 19 years old. <laughs> I want you to be honest with me. Have you cheated on me? I wanted her to lie to me so I could just keep up the delusion. She said, honestly, yes. Dude, I went to her bathroom. I puked. I was back in her. I was back in her clutches. It was all downhill from there. Guys, this story gets so much worse. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna be reacting to Donovan Sharp quitting YouTube and Destiny fucking shitting all over him. Basically, Donovan is saying that he's not getting views anymore on YouTube. He's not making money anymore on YouTube. And so he's gonna quit. Okay, let's get a round of applause for that. Total fucking piece of shit that was pushing all kinds of nonsense and is not a real expert and that married a fat single mom, okay, who's well over the wall in contradiction to everything that he preaches online. Okay, here we go. This just isn't profitable for me anymore. I've been suppressed by the algorithm forever. Why do you think he actually failed? A combination of reasons. In the red pill spaces, this was exemplified when I was talking to Sneeko. Red flag number three, she had a six year old. She was 19 years old. <laughs> I want you to be honest with me. Have you cheated on me? I wanted her to lie to me so I could just keep up the delusion. She said, honestly, yes. Okay, mind. When he admitted this okay, on that podcast with just pearly things, when he admitted that there was this 19 year old drug addict chick that cheated on him, that apparently like really fucked him up. Okay. And he took her back even after she cheated, but he said it like ripped his heart out and he never wanted to go through that level of pain again. Then you fast forward to 2024 and he's bossing around his fat wife. He's telling her she can't look at men in public. She can't order her own food. She can't take her phone to the bathroom, right? She can't have a social media account. He has to have all her passwords. There's this like Gestapo level, like full on dictatorship control of a woman that's like very old and very ugly and fat and a single mom. And he tries to control her and he thinks that he's cool and he's delusional and he thinks that her body is a hard nine. Dude, I went to her bathroom. I puked. I was back in her. I was back in her clutches. It was all downhill from there. Guys, this story gets so much worse. And I it's really pathetic. You hear these backstories of these guys. And then he like oscillates to the other side, the other extreme, and he becomes a woman hating, you know, misogynist who's just trying to control them. Okay, who actually resents them because of all the pain that was caused to him by this 19 year old drug addict. $800. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no. What is this? How's our boy doing? Before I get started here, I've sort of come to a decision. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. But it's been fairly clear uh, for a while that it's just this just isn't profitable for me anymore. Um, kind of a tough pill to swallow, but you know it is what it is. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Give a law recap for a viewer. He's just a loser red pill guy. <laughs> Destiny's like a little recap for the viewer. He's a loser red pill guy, and he's also full of shit. He does the exact opposite of what he preaches on his channel. Okay, namely don't date women over the wall, which is over 30. Don't date single moms. His chick is in her 40s, is a single mom, and is not attractive. And he also has nothing good to say or offer about male-female dynamics. He has no understanding of it whatsoever. Who lies about everything he does. <laughs> And it's kind of gross. I mean, I've been suppressed by the algorithm forever. I mean, I'm never going to crack 173,000 subscribers. I've been... And before we continue this, guys, if you want to take advantage of my best converting opener on Tinder to get a much higher response rate and get a lot more phone numbers and dates, you can go click the link in the description, enter your email, and you will get access to my best converting Tinder opener. I've been 173,000 subscribers forever, guys. I'm not getting to 174. I'm not getting to 200. I'm not getting to 250. I mean, I've tried... I've tried literally everything. I've tried everything, guys. I've tried changing up my content. I've tried this. I've tried that. And it's just, it just hasn't, it just hasn't worked. And I'm tired of, uh, I'm tired of spinning my wheels. I remember when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I mean, I was on the rise. I was, you know. Is this the guy who does the what she's actually saying videos? Yes. The guy who does these skits. Honey, I'm off to <laughs> This is his wife who he says has a body of a hard nine. <laughs> Eric, how do I look? Oh, looking good, hot stuff. And how do I smell? Like an oasis of feminine effervescence. You like my hair? As always. Thanks, honey. You always make me feel like a million bucks. That's my girl. Okay, I'm off to work. I'll see you when I get home. Hey, I'm home. Uh, pardon my language here, baby, but what the f is going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that better? What you just witnessed was the sloppy work seconds. All of these hey, are so, what? all of these are so good. Street Outlaws tonight. <coughs> street Outlaws? Yeah, it's about illegal street racing in Oklahoma City. Uh, 
Okay. What you listening to? Sean Paul. If your woman's interests, beliefs, and preferences just all of a sudden change out of the blue, then a man who shares these new interests of hers has her sexual attention. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's make everyone fucking super paranoid that their girl's gonna go cheat and constantly be trying to trade up and blah, blah, blah. And again, who would even want that girl? Nobody. He's trying to act like, oh, everyone's gonna be after this, you know, because she's a hard nine. No, no one wants her. Congratulations, you can control every move. She's fucking disgusting. And no, not every girl is trying to trade up. Oh, she suddenly is listening to a new musical artist. She must be fucking a new dude. Modern women rarely have their own steadfast beliefs. That's how he talks. <laughs> interests or habits. They believe what the strongest men in their lives believe. Law number 41 of the 49 law. Women can't have their own interests in music or in anything, okay? They're gonna just gravitate towards whatever the strongest man in their life. Yeah, these guys are so fucking warped. It's like beyond repair. This is why it's great that he's stopping YouTube and he needs to get off YouTube. He's just harming people. He's just pushing a ton of toxic misinformation. Hey, we'll read this over here. <laughs> Law XL, she rarely has her own beliefs. She usually believes what the strongest man in her life believes. Okay, let me have this little caricature of him supposing, supposed to be looking cool here, which hides all his acne scars and, and disgusting appearance. Of sharp state. She rarely has her own beliefs. She usually believes what the strongest man in her life believes. Any man who keeps this in mind and pays attention will drastically reduce his odds of getting sucker punched by his woman's infidelity. I love their wedding vows. Yeah, they had wedding vows. They did a public wedding. And he basically was like, hey, uh, you know, I've made you into the woman that you are and I deserve all the credit. And if it doesn't work out between us, I'll still be totally okay. <laughs> like, super like reverse overcompensation. And then he opened up the floor to Q&A after they did their vow. So it was so cringe and pathetic. I did a, a reaction to that. We can pop up the thumbnail to that. And we'll put in the end screen going over all the various lies of Donovan Sharp that have been captured on camera. I did a whole video about that as well. This would be a red pill wedding because everybody I saw who in the audience was just dude. All right, guys, uh, welcome, to, uh, welcome to our wedding. This is going to be a very... Uh very sort of informal thing. Um, there is no- Look how fucking weird this is. They broadcast a wedding on YouTube. Uh, what do you call it? An uh, officiant? Pastor. But yeah, I'm the officiant. <laughs> the reason why they don't have an officiator is because um, red pill people don't believe in marriage. They think that it's a scam. And that any guy that gets married to a woman, she's just gonna steal all your alimony and everything, even though all these guys are broke anyway. That's So red pillars <laughs> always say, don't get married. That's family and friends. Because I don't care how cringy and red pill you are, there is no way your family and friends would clap at that kind of speech. I think this guy paid people to be an audience. All right. Yeah, gas me up. Keep in mind, she's an over-the-wall single mom in her mid-40s. But listen to what he says here. It's really cringe. And again, you can pick up my best converting Tinder opener for free with the link in the description or pinned comment. All right. Ready? All right. Each day, when we wake up, we choose one another. You have taught me that the rent is due every day, and I'm to take things for granted. Every day, when I wake up, the rent is due every day and to not take things for granted. This is good. Stop. You can shoot this off. Each day, when we wake up, we choose one another. You have you agree that the guy should probably never get married, right? Seems like a lose-lose. What? No. If you want a person to start making big sacrifices for you, like if you're going to have a child with somebody, you should absolutely get married. It should, the woman's prerogative absolutely is getting married, and you should want to get married too, 100%. Tell me that the rent is due every day, and I'm taking some The healthy garden takes watering. Destiny has all these like weird mouth movements that I never noticed. He's like constantly like, mm, 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 mm. I wonder if that's related to drugs. Thank you for demanding the best thing always. I promise to stand beside you, walk behind you, and be a reliable source of peace for you. I promise to stand beside you, to walk behind you, and to be a reliable source of peace for you. Okay, that's nice words. I promise to show you my love through my actions, words, and thoughts. Together, our lives are great, and the sky is the limit. I love you, and I'm happy to be with you. Yo, yo. Good words, baby. Um, uh, Sydney, um, this has been, it's been a hell of a ride. Um, it's been, and the way we met was very unorthodox. Uh, our relationship is very unorthodox. In which cases, should a long-term relationship not get married? Um, I mean, if you don't want to deal with any of the bullshit, make sure you check up the common law rules in your state. But, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. But if the woman is going to start making huge sacrifices, then the protections that marriage provides are essential. Any guy that... If you're a woman and a guy tells you that, like, he doesn't believe in marriage and he wants to have kids, that's, like, the biggest red flag in the world. That's the same as him being, like, a rapist or a fucking murderer. Like, just run. Run as far and as fast as you can. <laughs> 
orthodox. You're wearing a wedding ring now because. Yeah. Uh, if you're both planning on continuing to work and you just split expenses and shit, then yeah, I guess you don't really ever have to get married. Uh, our relationship is very unorthodox. You're wearing a wedding ring now because. Yeah. Uh, I, I found out you were a single mom and I still got with you, even though I think dating with single moms is a waste of time. And I've been lying to everyone about the fact that you're a single mom. Yep. It's been a wild ride. It's crazy. Yeah, he was lying that she was a single mom. He was lying about her age. He was lying that he got married to her. He was just lying, 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 and it was all exposed. Good. How much you've been lying about who you are and what you've done, how your age, everything else, because you're actually much older. His real name's Eddie Hopkins, okay, and he was on the run from the police as well. There was warrants out for his arrest. Than I originally claimed. But I lied because I have an image to maintain. Because, well, you know, there you go. You've been working for some half years. But, you know, like I said, you, you, I, I bring out the best in you. Um, but uh, you made me happy. You really do. Um, I was happy before you. I like how it started with you, 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 I bring out the best in you. <laughs> It's not like he's about to come. He brings out the best in her, and he was happy before her. Don't forget that. Compliment her, and he went, no, no, no. And it doesn't. I make you better, stupid. Um, I was happy before you, um, and if you and I decide to part ways for whatever reason, I'll be happy without you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't care. That's a red pill cool guy showing everybody how cool that he is. I'll always be fine no matter what, girl. Even if things go totally south, I'll still be totally happy and fine. You understand? What nobody says, there's never a day in life where you can convince me this is not the most loserish shit ever. You wanna love- <laughs> I completely disagree with what you said. I don't know how much thought was behind what you said. What? Why is the divorce rate so high? I don't know if people get divorced. They don't like each other anymore. Share these kind of weird vows and that's fine. Doing this for content, doing a Q&A afterwards, or doing vows where you're essentially like, yo, I was happy at before you and I'm gonna be happy after you. It's like, holy But shit. I'm happy about the way you made me happy because I made you. That's crazy. That's a crazy bar. That's a yeah, he's basically complimenting himself. It's like humble bragging. Crazy bar. <laughs> I'm not even saying don't get married. I'm confused as to why that has to be the thing that makes a relationship serious versus the relationship itself. I don't think you needed to be serious. I don't give a fuck about marriage personally. But if you're going to have a child with somebody or if you're going to ask somebody to make huge sacrifices. It's into Destiny's chair too. It's like endless amounts of squeaking on his chair. Their career financially, they need some kind of like assured or some kind of like commitment from the guy to make sure that their life isn't going to be fucking destroyed if you guys end up splitting up. I think marriage is a really important protection for whoever's going to make sacrifices in a relationship for the betterment of the combined relationship. And so by the power vested in me, I pronounce us man and wife. Did he say man? What kind of sacrifices might one make outside of- There's no power vested in him either. He's being a fucking retard. Kids, you usually, you sacrifice your career, you sacrifice working years in your life. Um, so huge earning potentials and like some level of autonomy and independence. Women are usually more harshly impacted by divorces than men are. When you look at chances to get into a new relationship, whoever is burdened with the responsibility of childcare afterwards, and then whoever is um, more financially burdened- It's like almost unwatchable with the amount of fucking background noise. It must be his chair, his floor or something like that. Afterwards, like generally, you just get fucked even and that's even if you are married yeah if you if somebody's saying they want to have a kid with you and they don't even want to get married to you that's like holy shit you're asking for a huge that's a huge commitment did he say that yeah because he's a man because he doesn't want to be a husband no because that would be simpish that's logic. No, but if that's your wife, then you're her husband. I don't even understand that. No. Really, really cool to have to be financially successful, but it's much, much sweeter when you have someone you share with. And so, by the power vested in me, I pronounce us man and wife. Clap up. Let's all clap for him getting hitched to a single mom over the wall in her mid 40s. That is a hard nine, in heavy quotes, according to Mr. Edward Hopkins. I've a majority of people who aren't religious. Nothing I just said had anything to do with religion, my friend. I guess we'll take questions from the audience. We're going to do 10 minutes of questions, then we're going to... It's a skit. It's a skit. <laughs> no like, question. questions at the end of your wedding? Anybody got questions? Yo, when's the last time you banked? Other question. Is she going to be your only one? No. It's, I, it's think, I think this is his viewers. I think this is an event he ran for his viewers. Probably. That I, that I, see, that I can get behind that. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I will yeah. say this is innovative. I have never heard of a wedding with a Q&A. But in this content-driven world, even this is not surprising. I mean, if y'all niggas hate marriage so much, then just don't do it. I, I don't understand this. Like, okay, jokes aside and laughing at how, how stupid this guy looks. Like, red pill dudes complain about marriage all the time. I would never get the state involved, yada, 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 yada. Okay. Then what's the point of y'all getting married? You guys are not getting married in a religious context. You're mm -hmm. not getting married. Doing it for fucking have everybody look at him. Oh, look at us over here. Look at us, how cool we are. In a governmental context, what the fuck? You're not even getting married in front of friends and family to like, 
see families united. You're doing this in front of subscribers. What the fuck is the point of this? Is your are you are you to announce your wife? What's the point? To your audience? Just just tell her she's your wife and that's it. Were you married to the chick you had a kid with? I'm not trying to troll you or anything. Just trying to understand where your opinion is coming from. Wh where my opinion is coming from is literally what I just said. What would my background have anything? What a dork Destiny is. Whatsoever to do with, with <laughs> whether or not I was married when I had a kid. How does that influence? How is anything? Keep in mind, Destiny is, <laughs> Destiny is bisexual and sucks dick. People say that that makes me homophobic saying that. It's not homophobic. I just think that's hilarious. Secondly, he got fucking totally owned. <laughs> by his chick that he was dating. Okay, she fell for some like skinny like twink guy in Europe and left Destiny's ass. Okay, so he's free to just bounce around on his creaky floor and give his two cents on things now. Anything I just said. No, we weren't married because we weren't supposed to have a kid. That was Nathan is the Antichrist, okay? The Mastooks baby, <laughs> okay? A mistaken oops that I love very much, okay? Unless he becomes a serial killer or does some other dumb shit, in which case, you, Nathan. Did they take down the full the full video from? It wasn't per, I think? Oh yeah, Pearl was there. I don't know if they went over that in this or not. Why do red pillars hate marriage so much when they like to larp as religious people? Because they don't like the state being involved. Why did you always say you are open borders and now you suddenly pretend that no one is open borders on Piers Morgan's show? That's enough of this. The bottom line is Donovan Sharp is quitting YouTube, which is a great victory. Wheat Waffles quit YouTube. Jay Waller was forced off YouTube and his channel was deleted. Okay, the Tates will no longer be able to stream content when they're getting their shit pushed in in jail, which will hopefully happen soon enough. So there's a lot of nice victories happening. Okay, but we have other new retards in the scene, Dan Bilzerian. I'm going to do a video soon where I go through how not only did Dan Bilzerian run his trust fund down from 96 million to one and a half million by 2021, he also ran the Ignite company into the ground. And I just found out today, actually, that he took out a $5 million mortgage on his house, which didn't have a mortgage before his expensive mansion in Vegas. He took out a $5 million mortgage in 2023, which all these signs point to the fact that he's got fucking money problems right now. And now his house is up for sale. Okay, the, the Las Vegas mansion is up for sale and he's being a fake dating coach in this space. Okay, so let me know what you think about Donovan Sharp retiring from YouTube if you think it's a good thing or bad thing and or and why let I me mean, know in the description watching the end screen where we go through all the different lies that donovan sharp has been saying showing you the different truths exposed in a video make sure you like the video to help support the algorithm and make sure you subscribe to never miss a video thank you guys and i'll see you on a video soon take care i said fuck the industry and did it my way, my way. i learned how to roll a weed i didn't roller skate nah. go in the back y'all look at the lake and i meditate yeah. all i need is one scale a couple bells came in this shit by myself Dolph, why you fuck this girl oh uh, shit cause i'm a player quarterback no nfl hey.